Hey Virgo, welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. We're doing the What You Need to Know in the next 72 hours reading. If you do not follow me on Instagram, feel free to. I go live um, every Sunday for week ahead readings. Also, go live for the uh, new moon and the full moon updates. I do those by Element if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. If you're looking for Zodiac specific messages, that's always here on um, YouTube. Uh, please like, share, uh, comment, subscribe. Um, if you guys are looking for a personal reading, you could look, you could book that through the link tree here on YouTube, or you could do that through the bio on my Instagram. Okay, um, <clears throat> Virgo. While I was pre-shuffling your your cards, um, they <coughs> splattered right, and the we are the world card came out, and. Michael Jackson's a Virgo. I know that some of you guys know this, some of you guys don't. But as I was cutting the cards, the We Are The World song was actually playing in my head. So I feel like some of you guys really need to listen to that. Or a lot of you guys are definitely being called um, to spend time in nature. But overall, when I get Michael Jackson in my, you know, like in my readings or whatever, or if he sends me songs or if he makes his presence known, it's usually because there's a message of you are not alone. Okay, Virgo? So don't ever feel abandoned. Don't ever feel like you were left behind because you weren't. You were left a position. I think that's what's going on here. I think you're recovering from loss. Five of Pentacles yeah, energy. Yes, in a little bit. Um, but I feel like Virgo, you're always looked to, to be the leader. And now is your time to shine because you're doing what you need to do and you're doing it naturally. So don't allow anybody to make you feel less than. Because I feel like, Virgo, there is somebody around you who's trying to make you feel like you are not doing your absolute 110% best. Which we know that Virgos do their 110% best. That being said, you're just dealing with the hater, Virgo. And you need to let them just be brushed off. Just, just let it brush off. Next 72 hours. You have sorrow. See, this person, this is how they want to want to see you. But the truth is that you're in a better position than this. Once again, the, the sorrow card is also like the five of pentacles energy. This is being left out in the cold. Somebody tried to leave you isolated or put you in an isolation um, type of either mood or like somebody tried to make you feel abandoned. Somebody was triggering your abandonment, uh, an abandonment issue that you may have. It, it could be uh, rooted in childhood. It doesn't have to be. But this is definitely somebody that you've dealt with for a long time that they were able to trigger into this or tap into this um, this hurt and this um, feeling of loss and lack. But you're learning to letting you're learning to let this person go. Because I feel like you see that you're actually growing into something way better. Yeah, and you're growing into your abundance here. And it, it, uh, dealing with this person is not is no longer the same. It, from, from one day to the next, something has changed. Yeah, and I feel like somebody ha is um, possibly uh, suppressing some kind of depression energy around you, Virgo. <clears throat> and because of that, your abundance is being postponed. Someone needs to talk, Virgo, and I feel like you need to initiate this conversation. Yeah, and it, it's because somebody it, it, somebody needs to break out of their innocence. Yeah, but they don't want them to rebel here. With rebel under the deck, this is not the goal. The goal is to allow this person's innocence to blossom into something more grander but somebody is actually i feel like somebody could possibly be threatened by this new energy that is um blossoming in your life here virgo 
But once again, it's in innocence. Like as long as you sit this person down, have a real conversation with how you're moving forward in this abundance, this person won't feel left out. This person is not being left out right now. This person is just in this lack and, um, and, and um, this five of pentacles energy basically. And because they're in this five of pentacles energy, they cannot um, see the blossoming, I feel like abundance that's actually in them. So because they're suppressing this self-worth issue, your abundance is being postponed because you are the one who's actually going to help with the uh, with the Japanese blossoms in the back, like change their luck or cherry blossoms it could be as well. That's what I mean. But, it, but you're going to change their luck because you're going to change their perception. Yeah, let's see with the thunderbolt on the on the top of the deck. This is the tower moment. You have to make sure that this person does not rebel against the world. Because if this person allows themselves to to um get in this trapped in this mars mindset their their uh spirit guides here are going to um i feel like they're going to abandon them and that's where your reconciliation with them is the guidance that they need to go ahead and blossom with their creativity and hear their intuition with the inner voice here. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Pisces and Cancers, uh, um, as sensitive as they are, look, with the nothingness again on top of the deck. L listen, somebody, possibly a water sign Virgo, is in deep depression. And they because they are in this depression energy and they are stuck between transformation, transformation energy, they're stuck in their head. And what it's going to cause them to do is rebel. But this person doesn't want to rebel. There's this person just is rebelling because it's comfortable to them. They want they're they're um in a desperate need or cry for attention. And the only way this person knows how to receive attention is by causing these tower moments with the thunderbolt here. But with the innocence. With the Innocence card, this person is just growing and they're just, they're in the middle of their own transformation. They just need your, they need you to hold their hand and guide them. This could be a younger, uh, a younger energy around you, Virgo. So it could be um, a, a younger sister or um, a younger cousin, a daughter or um, a cousin, something of that nature. But this person needs your help. It could be a Leo here with the with the strength card, but they 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 need your help and you need to initiate this conversation in order for you guys to receive their their this abundance together. Because if not, I feel like inside this thunderbolt energy, I feel uh um devil energy. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn or a Scorpio, but. This person, I feel like, is teetering between dark and light. And I feel like you're the last olive branch that's going to be um, sent out to this person's way. Like, if this person is truly a good person and, and, and a good person at heart here with the strength card, Leo energy, Leo um, rules the heart chakra. If this person truly loves you, they're going to open up to you. If not, then this person's going to miss their opportunity and they may actually stay in this suppressed and innocence for the rest of their life, which means it's going to continue to cause these tower moments and cause them to rebel unexpectedly. And eventually, you know, um, that's where that devil energy comes, comes in where, uh, this repetitive cycle of hitting their head against the wall is going to eventually kill them. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. So you need to see this person as the wounded warrior they are. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Nine of Wands energy, though. They need they need um, the guidance and the protection. In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. If you don't know what to say to this person, just breathe and 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 pray for for. Um, for the most high to guide you through this conversation. You're a Virgo though. This is what, and this is, I think a big part of your test. You are good at, 
at with your words. You're ruled by Mercury. You know, you and Gemini always know the right thing to say. So just trust your instinct and trust your gut feeling here, Virgo, because you're as long as you're coming in with love, no matter what you say, you can't hurt this person. Unless they try to get, and I think that's what you're afraid of, that if you hurt this person, they're going to get aggressive with you. But this person doesn't want to be aggressive with you. And as once again, as long as you come in this um, Librian energy here with the hummingbird, you could be dealing with the Libra, you could have Libra placements here. The more energy and intention I bring into my faith, the more fearless and free I am. The moment that you sit there breathe and pray and allow the most high to work through you they will allow an angel to you know inhabit your body to do what you got to do like honestly it's not it's um that simple that complicated right virgo but i think you know exactly what i mean and what how i say what i'm saying for you to understand that there's a higher power involved here that you need to surrender to in order to save this person I choose, I choose to learn through love. And that's ultimately your guys' biggest lesson here. So um, if you're asking, can you save this person? Yeah, you can. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. If you have faith that you could save this person, you could save this person. It's up to you, though. It's But it's uh, ultimately, you have to know that it's not your job to save everyone. All right, Virgo. That's what I have for you. I hope this helps. Bye.